Ian, we've got a lot to address. We'll start with the postponement of Euro 2020 to 2021 and your general reaction to that. I think it's absolutely the right decision. The UEFA president outlined you know, the health of the public, the spectators, the players, the match officials is of paramount importance. And given the global pandemic that we find ourselves in, you know, arranging a tournament of such magnitude for, for June was it was never, never realistically going to happen. Obviously, it's UEFA's flagship event. We're celebrating 60 years of European football, and it's absolutely right that we do that across 12 cities as planned with spectators at every match, and people can enjoy football the way they should be. Yeah, it's, and what impact does that have on Glasgow as host city? Obviously, it's a 12-month postponement. We expect that the stadiums that were planned will be the ones that are used in 12 months' time, so it's really just business as usual from a Euro what is now Euro 2021 perspective and we'll be preparing for it like the other host cities will be. And of course the Israel playoff semi-final match, that has been discussed as being played in June now, how likely do you see that being? I think it's difficult to envisage a situation where the, the current situation clears up in time for us to play games in June. Obviously there are a number of countries involved in the playoff, um, the, the virus is at various stages across the world and there may be some countries that, that see themselves coming out of that situation a little bit quicker than others. We will take advice obviously from the medical teams um, and we will liaise with UEFA whether we can get the game played in June it will be up for debate. We would love to think so but it's probably unlikely at this point. And there's obviously the question about Scotland supporters and tickets, will tickets remain valid for this? Absolutely, as with any postponement, tickets will remain valid for the rescheduled date. You know, we were delighted with the ticket sales, we were delighted that the supporters all wanted to come and watch the playoff match and I'm sure there are a lot of disappointed Scotland fans that they can't get along to see the game when it was scheduled for and, and we'll try and get it on as quickly as we can. And then attention turns to the Scottish Cup as well, which would have been coming up soon uh, with the postponements there as well. When will the fixtures be played likely, Ian? It's difficult to say, um, obviously they're scheduled for just a little over a month's time, that's obviously going to be impossible to play football in that time period, um, but it's a flagship event for the Scottish FA, it means a lot to clubs, it means a lot to players, it means a lot to supporters to watch their team lift the Scottish Cup and we want to give you know, every supporter that can the, the chance to come and watch those games be played, so we'll look to reschedule those, those games as soon as possible. Yeah, that might be a bit of a vague question, hard to really put a finger on this, but what is next for the Scottish FA and what are the next steps? We will be guided, you know, obviously we suspended football in the country for the immediate future. We want to get football back on everybody's minds as soon as we possibly can. We need to take advice from the medical experts in that area. You know, this isn't something that affects just football. This is something that is affecting the world. It's affecting every reach of society and it's, it's something that, you know, everybody will want to see us get out, out the other end of. We'll be guided with by UEFA, the joint response group that we've established will continue to meet on a daily basis and, and we'll just take advice from them and work through things as they come.